I'm going to start by doing HTML tags again. So we've got the HTML tag at the top, we've got the head, we've got a title, and I'm going to call it changing. So you've got the changing array value at the top as a header. I'm going to start the body, start a PHP tag, and I'm going to make a comment. So it's create an array containing three strings red, green and blue and I'm going to call it with a semicolon at the end here so that's one array called ARR and we're going to echo the content of that array first of all so first element is zero, element zero and then I'm going to print out the second element and then the third element and last but not least just I forgot to put concatenation here instead of the commas so it's concatenated together and last but not least we're gonna make a HR remember if what HR stands for it's a separating line so it's a, just a drawing a line in HTML and we've seen that in a previous lesson I'm gonna make another comment so we, what we're going to do, we're going to assign, instead of it saying green, red, green, blue, we're going to make it assign numerical values instead. For the first element in the array, element 0, which is the first element, we're going to put 44. The second element, which is element 1, we're going to assign it 12.5, so it's a float number and then last but not least we're going to do something interesting for the last element element 2 we're going to add element 1 plus element 2 which is element 0 so it's just, you know, as as you already know the start of the array starts with 0 so position 0 and that the additions of those two values would be inserted into the final element so obviously that would produce from an integer and a float added together it will produce another float because it has 0.5 to it so it's going to be a float number and it's going to be placed inside uh, the final element which is element 3 instead of blue it would say uh, 50, 56, 56.5 it would have okay and finally we close it off with a semicolon here and then we're going to echo the elements again so let's just copy this we'll copy that line make it a lot easier and we paste it here control V paste and we'll close off now we're just going to close off the PHP the HTML tags so body and then finally HTML and that's lesson 16 so we're going to save it and run it and see what happens save as lesson16.php so we're just going to transfer it across to the server inside the folder php lessons and we see it running inside here so we set up saying lesson 15 we're going to change that into lesson 16 press enter and it tells us red green blue and it says 44 12.5 and then 56.5 but it's all not it's all stuck together so we're going to correct that and while we're at it we'll correct the capitalization of the, f the R so we go back here and you remember how we edit files inside Qt FTP we simply click on the right uh, button in the, on the mouse and then you click on edit and it would load it inside Qt FTP's editor and here we can see the R is not capital so we're going to change that to a capital R uh, green is fine, blue is fine the numbers okay so the numbers are not spaced out so how do we space out the numbers where is the plus and here we go the way we're going to do it is we go into so we just printed it off like that, we're just going to space it out here, press space like that and instead of concatenating we'll say equals to and 
that's it so basically we'll remove that and we do that so now basically it's just a string so it will just print array 0 array 1 and it will be formatted that way and if we yeah why not we add an hr somewhere here as well hr do another underline and if I save that file save so we see it yep it's done and now if I refresh here we've got so 44 plus 12.5 equals 56.5 so it printed it nice and neat and it's done that separation line in between the two as well